Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. I'm really, really cross. I'm angry. I'm disappointed as well. I've been left high and dry. I've just got my new Converse out to get ready to do my live unveiling video and I've tried them on and one of the eyelets is broken on there. The metal bit is hanging out of it. It comes up the lace and there's just a little raggedy hole in the shoes. I paid nearly 50 quid for the quality of Converse and this is what I've been left with, a faulty pair of shoes. So I phoned up the shop to complain and say, can I bring them back? Have you got a receipt? I didn't bother with a receipt. I didn't have time. I was rushing in the shop. She said, oh, we can email it to you. I don't want my emailed receipt to me. I should be able to trust that I've paid 50 pounds for a pair of real Converse and they should be fine. Now they won't change them. And I paid two pound extra for a bloody charity bag shoe. It's not fair. I've been trying to phone Converse up, their customer care number in America, but my mobile phone won't let me phone it, apparently. So no one's... I've been left high and dry, basically. I paid 50 quid for a brand new pair of Converse, and they were a thing of beauty, I tell you. They are dark as a... darkest night in a Bolivian rainforest. They are black. They've got the Converse star on. They looked great, but they've got a bloody eyelet hanging out. <coughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. It's another example of a multinational company just just squishing the little man. I'm the little man again in this, and I'm not standing for it. Please, Converse, can anyone who watches this at them on Twitter or whatever and let them know that their goods have ruined my celebration day. The first time in seven years it would have been that I would have had a pair of real Converse that I was going to wear, I was going to live unveil them, I was going to show everyone them. My followers were really excited for me, and it's been spoiled. One of you, or Shu, needs to step forward and do something about it. Yes, I haven't got a receipt, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't expect good service. Really disappointed.